these are all of the branches that came out of my window boxes. And so they're kind of curved. I don't know if you can see the curve um, because of how they were in the window boxes and then dried. And I think they're actually beautiful without the little needles. And they almost look like a cage. Um, so I'm just gonna surround this. This is the fun thing about using things from nature. If it doesn't look good, go back in the forest. Let's see, this might be too much here in the front. But the fun thing is you just need to experiment. Now I might build this nest up a little bit further so you can see it. And all of this, most of it, now this bright green, obviously, um, with the exception of this, this is actually from my boxwood uh, wreath that I made at Christmas that hung over my um, kitchen stove. And, um, but the rest of this, um, there's some artificial, this is evergreen, artificial evergreen, and then some spring picks. But the majority is just stuff from the yard. This is from my window boxes from Christmas that were in a compost pile and I went down uh, looking for branches and thought, hmm, those are pretty. I think I need some more branches that are coming out this way. You may recognize some of these little branches. They have the little sweet berries on them uh, for the Christmas uh, episode I did where I decorated my window boxes. Uh, and I love these. They're just the prettiest little branches. So now obviously all the berries are gone. Um, and I'm gonna reuse them one more time. One more time. I'm gonna try to get that in there. Just to give that a little bit more. We're almost done. These are also too, I don't know if you'll recognize the dried boxwood. That came from the wreath that I made for Christmas uh, that hung over my big stove. So I did I took that all apart and reused it one more time. I think it's it's pretty. There's not much artificial uh, evergreens that I use. I did use uh, one, two three, four picks underneath the nest, but it's predominantly just all of my old window boxes from Christmas uh, in a tree that fell down and I cut it up.
Hey guys, okay, I'm back and I have uh, the first tray planted. I have some short and sweet carrots uh, here on the ends. I'm gonna give them all a good watering. Uh, some beets, uh, Detroit dark and red. I have some peas, Alaska peas. Um, and these are wilt resistant, both of these uh, sugar snaps and some special beef steak uh, seeds that I got that are supposed to be really, um, they're supposed to be fruity, they're a fruity taste in them. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. Um, these are continuing to plump up and you can see, uh, now when I plant these, see how it has like this little, this little fabric? I'll actually kind of pull that back a little bit and then I'll get in there and I'll kind of loosen up the soil uh, before I put my seed in. But these are kind of cool too. Uh, and they still, they're not quite ready to, I need to put a little bit more water on them. These will go on the, the, the heat mats, um, which mimics uh, the soil being warm uh, on that beautiful summer day, which it's not. Uh, and um, I'll put the covers, the clear covers. And then as soon as I see that they're germinating uh, and you can kind of see them poking through, um, I take off the um, clear covers and then I just put them under the grow lights until they're ready to put in the crown. I hope you guys plant your own garden. I know we're in some um, difficult and trying times, but this is something actually that I think would be so good for your soul to get out and dig in the soil and um, create something that your family can enjoy.